Hi Stampers! Today we're going to learn another new technique and I'm calling this a granite marble or marble granite. Uh, it has a shiny image and it looks like marble or granite. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is get some wax paper and put it on your surface because this does get quite messy. First we'll take a piece of um, window sheets or you can use transparencies and it's just the clear piece. We also will need a piece of tissue paper, just white tissue paper, and a piece of cardstock a little bit bigger than the piece that we're using and that's this piece right here. So you will need crystal effects and first thing you do is just kind of gob it all over the piece of acrylic or their window sheet. I like to use a piece of um, just scrap paper as my spatula. So I'm just going to be spreading it along the sides, well throughout, but make sure you go over the sides and just spread it along. Hope you can see this. I'm going off the edge. And you don't want it too thin because if it's too thin then it won't work properly. So it's a fairly thick amount of crystal effects. Make sure you hit all the edges. There, I hope you can see that. I think you can. Then we're going to take uh, first color is Sahara Sand of the Reinkers, and we'll just add four drops. Whoops, two, three, four. And you can see the way it's expanding. When it does that, you know that you have enough crystal effects on there. Again, if it's too dry, this won't work properly. Then we take our little spatula again and just kind of swirl this around. nothing neat. Just swirl it and you don't want to fill it in all the way you just want to swirl it around. Then we'll take baked brown sugar and this one you just need three drops. One, two, three. And then we will swirl this around and I'm just kind of patting it and swirling it. I'm not rubbing it in. You don't want to rub it in because then it, you kind of lose that effect that you're going for, which is the marble or granite look. There we go. And then the next color is soft suede, just a darker color. It looks like a big match right now, but that's okay. Two of those because you don't want to get too dark. And you kind of swish that around a little bit. I'm just touching parts even though they have color on them already. Again just touching and dabbing. And then this is optional but I like to use the gold metallic refill. And this stuff comes out kind of weird. It comes out and it's really hard to squeeze. Let's put it that way and you just put some on there like that there's another one you just need a couple of these and some people when we did this in class had made like little swirly marks and I'll show you what that looks like on the finished product here this one has the swirlies. You can see the swirlies right there. This one we're not going to do that. So after you after you complete that part of it, then we will take the tissue paper, crumple it up, and don't spread it out too smoothly. You want to leave the crumples in there and that gives you the extra marble effect. So this is a little bit bigger than the piece of window sheet. So we're just going to set it on top. 
kind of dab it. And notice it's not, well, getting a little dirty, but not, not too bad. I think I get dirtier when I clean ink pads than I do with this. Or clean stamps, not ink pads. There we go. And then you take a piece of cardstock and just, it can be Whisper White or um, Very Vanilla. And you just set it on there. Doesn't have to be exact. And what I found works really well is taking a piece of the wax paper, putting it on there, flipping it over. Then I can see what my design is. And you can see it kind of through the wax paper. I'm just going to squish it out. And you don't have to worry about this being right to the edges because we will be trimming this. Just smooth it out. And if for some reason, if you don't have enough crystal effects on there, you can always add that afterward because then um, it, if you don't add enough, it won't stick to the cardstock. So this part we're going to peel off like this. And we're going to grab the acrylic, peel it off, fold up the wax paper with all the mess and just set it there to dry. And it usually takes probably I would say a good hour for it to dry so you could cut it properly. Um, so I am going to show you how to cut it even though I haven't let it dry. So I like to use a scissors with a Teflon coating on it and because otherwise the ink or the crystal effects might get on there. So when this is dry, and you'll know it's dry, right now this is real flimsy, so it's not dry. A finished one is pretty hard. You can, you can even hear it. It sounds, sounds pretty hard. This one is not there yet. But when you get to that point, you're just going to trim off the tissue paper, don't worry about the cardstock or the window sheet. We're just going to trim that off. And I don't think I can do this next part while it's still wet. So now I would cut this with the paper cutter. I'll just show you, but I won't cut it. So with the paper cutter, you cut it on the side with the um, the acrylic side up or the window sheet side up. So then you cut it down to your desired um, width and length. This one will be ending up with one and three quarters by five. So it's at two right now. Move it over. Just Well, I guess I will show you like this. And then that comes off. And see how nice that edge is then. Nice and straight. It does work much better when you let it dry. Alright, then this one will be one and three quarters. And we'll get rid of all the icky side. There we go. And then this one will be end up five inches. And this is five. There we go. And see, because it's wet, this will rip off. And then you can just trim that if that's what you're going to do. There we go. So now you have a nice finished piece. And that's how you do the technique. If you, I also have a few samples of other colors that I've tried. Let me show them to you. So this was Sahara Sand, uh, Baked Brown Sugar, and Soft Suede with a little gold. This one, it's sort of fall looking. It's really pretty in real life. Uh, this one uses Calypso Coral, So Saffron, and Pistachio Pudding. And look at how those colors just, you would never know that that's what it uses. This one, uh, I added some glitter. I think you can see the little bit of glitter in there. This was just two colors, 
uh, sky, soft sky and Bermuda Bay. And then I just put glitter on it before I put the tissue paper on. And here is another one in the browns that I used only it has the glitter in as well. I just took a just a pinch of Dazzling Diamonds and just kind of threw them on there. So I hope you enjoyed learning this technique. This is a wonderful card to make it to, to use the uh, marble with. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.